Hey guys, today's play a game of Goner 2. This is a sequel to Goner, which is a game, um, I think that game came out in 2016, this one came out in 2020. It's an indie title, and um, what's interesting about this game is that uh, when I played the original Goner game, it felt like, uh, yeah, it's just a very unique game. Yeah, like, very unique, and I, I think you guys will understand, that's hard to describe. Um, and when you play Goner 2, like this game, I guess you, can, you guys can understand why it's kind of unique, because this is basically what the original Goner was. Uh, so yeah, this this art style is very unique, and uh, they call it a Metroidvania title, but I don't think it's even that. It's more like, uh, I mean, it's it's like a roguelike, right? So every time, every time you uh, go into a level, it's going to be different. It's randomly generated. And uh, the way that you play this game is, is just very interesting, right? It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like playing like kind of like a fever dream. So, anyway, the original Night in the Goner was pretty cool. So I picked up Goner 2, and yes, I mean, this has some uh, mechanics that the original Goner doesn't have, but it keeps the same kind of interesting art style, I guess. Same kind of uh, avant-garde type of art style. Like it's constantly, you can tell, like the the world is constantly revolving and shifting. How come I can't do anything here? Can't wake this guy up. Pick this guy up. Alright. Hmm, what should I do here? Now I'm guessing this is still a roguelike, so every level is uh, randomly generated, I'm guessing. Hmm. The skull, okay, I gotta get my skull and the rifle. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So yeah, use my. So the thing is, your character is constructed of different parts. <laughs> it's constructed of different parts, and then when you take damage, you uh, you get split into those different parts again, which is pretty unique, I think, for games. I haven't really seen many other games do that. So you get split into different parts, and then I have to reconstitute my parts again. Level design, the art design, everything is pretty unique. So yeah. Um, uh, where's my guy? I gotta get my head. In my backpack. Where's my head? I gotta find the head. Okay, I'm, I'm headless right now. Where is my head? Seriously, where did where did my head go? <laughs> Bounced off somewhere. Okay, well, I guess I'll just play headless. I just need my gun in my body anyway, so I don't need my head. Uh, wait. Where am I now? What I like about this sequel so far is that uh, it seems to be more colorful than the original. The original was kind of, um, I mean, the colors are a bit muted, right? And most it was mostly black actually. But this this uh, sequel here seems to have more colors. What the heck? How do I get out of here? Brains? Oh, can you kill these brains? Okay. Brain things, brain cells. Giant eye. Alright, I need to go into these tunnels. They're 
basically like Mario pipes, except they are uh, creature things. This is a this is interesting because <laughs> I can't get my guy to turn around. That's the thing. He's always facing this way. The only way to get him to turn around is if I uh, have to be on the side of the wall to make him turn around. But yeah, I can't make him turn around. Oh wait, never mind. I can't. <laughs> I had to use the mouse. Didn't know I could use the mouse. Right, now I know. Metroidvania game because it's not linear, but I don't think it's really a Metroidvania, it's just too different computing Metroidvania, but it's just, it is non linear though. So yeah, it's a non linear roguelike game. Adventure, I would say. But uh, it's too different from other Metroidvania games to be a really Metroidvania. It's its own thing. Alright. Now this time it's different, right? Because every time it's, it's randomly generated, so the bubbles are different every time. Which what? That's what's making real likes really fun. Well, this time I'm walk I'm underwater. I did not see this in the original counter, so this is something new they added in the sequel. It's underwater levels.
Okay, I guess I'll try one more time. Anyways, that's Goner 2. Um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting game. I mean, if you like roguelikes with a non-linear exploration type of concept and very unique art style, then this is probably the game to get. Um, compared to the first Goner, yeah, I think this one is more polished. It has a few more features, so I mean, that's uh, probably... Usually for games, you know, the sequels can always build upon the, uh, the predecessors. So I think, yeah, this is a better game than the first Goner. So if you do looking for this, uh, if you are looking to pick up a Goner game, this is probably the one to pick up. So that's it guys, Goner 2. Alright, thanks for watching.